Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Caesar, good day. Good day. How are you doing today? I'm fine. This is Valder Beebe. I'm in Dallas, Texas, talking to people across the nation on the Valder Beebe Show, and we're so excited that you are here. My audience wants to know, Caesar, just to where you located. That's the first thing I need to ask you. Me, right now, I'm located in Harlem, New York. In Harlem? Yes, I'm in Harlem right now. And they want to get a temperature reading of how it is in New York. They know that you came to talk about the Black Ink Crew New York, but they would be re I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about the temperature of the people in the city itself at this time during the pandemic. I'll tell you the, the God, the honest truth, I've never seen New York like this. Like, I have been in New York my whole entire life. And to, to, to see it like this is almost like we live in a movie now. I've been through a lot of things in New York. I've been through 9-11, I've been through blackouts, I've been through blizzards. But this one is kind of almost unrealistic. Because to see 42nd Street completely empty, to see Chinatown completely empty. These are places in, in our city are like, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's the busiest parts of our city. Harlem is basically like, a, is, is, is a desert, I can say, because you can't see but three people on the block if that, and they're going somewhere for centuries and they're going back home. Nobody's really outside. This, this time right now in, in New York is, it's a critical time because people, when it first hit, people thought it was it was going to be light. But now that family members and friends are dying, people are starting to take this really serious. And being the epic center of basically the world right now, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Like everybody's on lockdown, but we are on major, major lockdown. Thank you so much for that first-hand view of what's going on across the world. Hopefully you guys can visualize what he's saying as you watch the news. This is real. I want people to know this is a real situation happening, as Caesar has told us. And please follow the orders of your local government to try and make a difference. Caesar, thank you so much for that, that personal uh, view. Let me ask you about the Black Ink Crew. Let's talk about something a little bit more fun, the Black Ink Crew on BH1. You got your, your hit docu-series is really the talk of the, uh, in a sense, of the social media crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, we've been, we've been on top of the game for a little while now. I have to say since season five, and our audience keep growing because, you know, they really could understand our struggle. Some people have been with us in season one and understand this wasn't a fly by night situation. This was more of uh you gotta struggle till you make it type of thing. I think people can identify with it. But you have something I think unique for a small business and for if I could say it this way, a black business. You run this just like a corporation. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I kind of uh, blueprinted from a corporation because people don't understand, like, I never had no blueprint. This is I'm probably the first person to try to do something like this in the tattoo industry. So I, I basically have to follow other successful people. And the only successful people in America are Fortune 500 and big corporations. And that's what I'm trying to model after. It seems like you understood what you wanted to do. How did you understand for running Black Ink Crew to the level of success where you're on TV season after season. Is it from watching, um, I'm going to say, the other street corporations maybe growing up? Because to be on the street running any kind of business, these are smart people. Yes, they are. And, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you no lie. A lot of the stuff that I've learned is from the streets and from watching corporations. At the end of the day, people, like our people, don't really know business like that. So it really took me a sense of 
learning from big corporations. And like I said, I do come from the streets, so I know certain things to get by as well as a company. I think you're doing a fabulous job running Black Ink Crew. And, of course, you got a lot of drama and things going on there. My, my, my audience is pretty well familiar with your drama there, Caesar. So when do we – let's tell them when to tune in so they can see, and maybe they can learn something also. When do you want them to tune in on VH1? Well, if you're not watching Black Ink already, you come on every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on VH1. You can also stream us on VH1.com and catch up on series if you're not if you're not familiar with Black Ink Crew. But like I tell everybody, watch it from from day one. Realize, you know, like we wasn't able to even pay the light bill. This is real stuff right here. Like we're not made up like some of the other reality shows. Well, us to this day, we ain't changed. So I just want everyone to know, like, hey, we're we're the people's champion of reality TV. Cesar Emanuel from Black Ink Crew, New York. Cesar, I feel so honored that you took the time to come to the Valder BB Show. I wish you the best, and I hope New York and America heals really soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <laughs>